Hi everybody, so in video 1933 we made this stuff, it's not very exciting but it is a graphene dispersion in water made extremely easily and extremely cheaply. Now everybody knows if you put graphene into concrete you're going to improve the strength of the concrete but graphene in concrete has two intrinsic problems. The first one is getting it to disperse properly. If you add two powders together mixing them up so you get proper dispersion is in fact quite challenging. The second one is <laughs> it's really expensive so you need to make it cheaply. Now I haven't bothered doing anything with this because of course what we've already got is a graphene dispersion in water. If all we do is put that into our dry cement mix then we'll be able to disperse the graphene super super easily because it's already dispersed. And of course we already know that making this stuff is unbelievably cheap and that's about seven milligrams per milliliter as a concentration. So all I plan on doing is pouring that straight into the concrete because of course that saves us a huge amount of trouble and effort because we don't want to dry it and all the processes involved with getting it out to have to remix it and all the processes involved in mixing it properly when it's already there. Now when you make concrete blocks for testing they're actually standard sizes. They're four inches by four inches by four inches or six inches by six inches by six inches and you make them in steel moulds. And once you've made those in steel moulds and you've got your concrete block you can take that down to the test house and have it tested. And we did exactly that. So here it is in a test machine. So the load is now being applied to the top of the cube. Okay. It just adds the um, adds the weight and the pressure over a constant. Yeah, over a constant. So uh, yeah. the cube concrete deforms. It's it's slightly plastic, as many things are. Yeah. You don't expect it to be, but it is. Um, <clears throat> and so as um, as it's deforming, the mm -hmm. load is kind of catching up with it. Okay. So it's always a constant load based on what it's measuring. Okay. Now concrete isn't the same beast the world over. It has different properties, different strengths, obviously different costs, and it depends on the cement it's made from. Now there are five most popular ones that are used in just about every circumstance, and here are the results of graphene added concrete and all the other five concretes. It may not be immediately obvious, but that last one marked FWGCWM is the graphene added concrete that we made. And it is 58% stronger than any other concrete. Now you might have noticed it said seven day test, and that's because there are two tests. There's a seven day test where you leave it a cure for seven days, and then a 28 day test where it's been cured for 28 days, because concrete gets stronger over time as it cures from the first time it dries to when it's finally ready and cured. So it gets stronger over time. Now ours is stronger than every other seven day test. <laughs> What's more is the seven day cured concrete is stronger than everybody else's 28 day cured concrete. So this method at first sight doesn't seem like much but when you look at it a little bit deeper it suddenly becomes really really exciting because of course this method is dirt cheap, really simple, remains in dispersion. So you can afford to just chuck it in your concrete and it increases the strength of the concrete by 58%. What that means is you can use a third less concrete in everything and a third less concrete is a huge amount of concrete when you think of all the concrete that's being used and concrete is recognized as one of the biggest contributors. We can reduce the amount of contribution by one whole third. That's incredible when you think about it. Anyway, I thought I would share it with you. If anybody wants to do this, go, go right ahead. It's, everything I do is public domain. This would be great to give it a go, test it and see what you come up with. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please do remember to like and subscribe.